Preparing to part for the night, he snapped shut his secret case. She did not wish to see inside and merely reached to stroke his face. But he withdrew. He had to leave. It was arranged. Slightly nervous hands are sweating. A sticky cold and clammy sweat. Was this a night he would regret? He wondered as he left, not even looking up. As she looked deep into herself, wondering what that night now had in store, she wished she'd touched his face before. Things may be different now forevermore, she thought as she prepared for bed. Not seeing in the road the head that slowly reared to see her, as she purposefully neared the window, her sweaty clammy hand upon the latch, as she eased it open and had to catch her breath, as she tried not to stare out into the night, choosing now to slowly undress, as the man, obsessed, observed her breast, caressed as her top slipped to the floor, as she passed to her bedroom door. Through the mask he stared at her window, his heart racing, adrenaline aflow, as he anticipated the night before him, which was not a whim, but carefully planned, from a desire buried deep inside as he turned to stride towards the door, hoping it would be opened by the whore, the whore. who would not choose instead to ignore the rap upon her door, door and remain dreaming in her bed. But his fantasy came true, as indeed he knew it would as she appeared, Ravishing in black, stepping back as he forced his way through the crack she could not close, and he was glad she chose to run. He thought that if she froze it would not be as much fun as the fun he would have now. As she struggled to evade, his clutching hands, kicking, flailing, flailing. fully knowing she was failing to escape this man in the mask. She had read of these attacks but knew not what to do as he forced her to the bed, pinning her arms above her head, producing a chain attached to a cuff, securing her wrists, and roughly again, her other wrist was bound, far too frightened to make a sound. She struggled for some moments, but knew it was no use, and was soon spread eagle, and could not wriggle loose. Looking frightened for her life, he then produced a knife, which with his eyes said, do not scream. She nodded her head as if to signal yes, so the knife instead began to caress, not cut and slash and slice her flesh. The act would not now be prolonged, her helpless body soon to belong to this man and his lust. There was no use for panic, fear or disgust, as the deed reached its climax with the first violent thrust. The ordeal over, he released just one hand, and left as silently as he had come. Straining to free her remaining ties, she sat up, once undone, and climbed inside a marital bed, enjoying now her release, knowing there would be no police, smiling instead, and waiting for her husband to return, as in time he did, and returned in turn to the drawer, the knife from inside of the case, and the mask now not hiding the husband's face. As he stared down at his wife, who was lying there, having been so brave, knowing next week, as agreed, she would be the mistress, and he would be her slave.